Hello my dear friends, I want to welcome you back to our channel Havanita Muscaria Experience where we speak about all the important things which will help us to develop with the work with Amanita Muscaria. And today's video uh, episode will be connected with your oops, physical body. Oh. Well, first of all, from our childhood we're being dedicated that uh, we have only one body and this is our physical body. But in truth, we have at least two more, and that's our emotional body, and that's our mental body. And we'll speak about them a bit later, but today and now we'll speak about our physical body and what is this. Well, our physical body, it's an avatar, which is uh, the keeper and the savior where placed through which plays the soul. Our soul is located in the spine line, that's the place through which it gets the major control over the body and our body is literally a mirror of our soul all of this world has absolutely no meaning because it's just fiction it's just energy but the only one thing what is real it's our soul and once our soul leaves this reality it leaves everything behind including the body including the family the richness and everything connected with this physical realm in the same way as uh, when a player leaves the computer game he leaves everything in the computer game except the experience that he got so if we want to really enjoy our lives and take the best from the opportunities that is given to us it's very very crucial and important to understand how works our physical body and that our physical body is always in communication with our soul so when there is a disconnection and the soul loses the control over the physical body that the body is being controlled through the mind, through foreign programs, algorithms, which bring no benefit to the soul, but just bring benefit to the system, to the corporations, to the government, then such a very interesting process happens. Uh, the process uh, is called self-destruction. So when your soul doesn't agree with any type of the action that you do, then it feels pain. If we ignore this pain and don't pay attention on it, then our soul creates in our body a sickness. A sickness is a result of ignoring specific type of pain which is happening on the inside. Once this happens and if the person continues to ignore this pain and the sickness, then comes and develops a chronic sickness. And really a chronic sickness, it's a, um, just a reflection of that that the soul is so tired of the actions of this body, of this avatar, that is doing the wrong things, that is wasting its time, that is doing the things that is not bringing that experience which is important for the soul. Then the soul would rather self-destruct this body. So, and that's why people get cancer and they get other sicknesses. It all happens with the agreement of the soul. The mind might think about whatever it wants, but the soul has the true control over the body. And if the soul cannot control the body, it would rather destroy it than to leave it to somebody else to manipulate it. So, our body, it's a mirror of our soul and what is happening on the inside. That's why in ancient times there was such uh, knowledge uh, developed as Ayurveda, or in modern times um, uh, we have uh, in psychology a specific type that every sickness is connected with some kind of a lesson or pain that is going on the inside. In Ayurveda it is clearly said that everything is uh, a reflection of a spiritual lesson that we're going through on the inside. And once we solve and unveil that spiritual lesson and the knowledge, boom, we get the freedom over that sickness, pain and everything. So I highly inspire you to take care of yourself, to listen to your soul, to connect your heart, your soul with your mind and to get, take the control over your avatar. Because if your soul won't be controlling your avatar, your very own soul will destroy it and nothing will save you. No doctors, no operations, because it's a natural, flay, a natural flow of development. Everybody needs to get a new chance if they're stuck. So if you, the person is too stuck in the reality that he doesn't like, doing the things that he finds not interesting and not important for himself, then thoughts 
this process of self-destruction. But we can always stop it by paying attention to what we feel and to work. If you want to change something and get rid of the pain and get rid of the sickness, then go from multiple parts, one on your mental part of analyzation and the second with the work of your body. As uh, working with your body can unblock all of the pain uh, that you gather throughout your lifetime. Always remember that our physical body on one hand is like a hardware, on the other hand it's like an antenna that is constantly communicating with everybody around. So, my darlings, let's continue the interesting discovery of who we truly are and may your soul guide you to such beautiful places and such beautiful reality which, of which you are truly worth of. So sending you my love and blessings and namaste for seeking the truth. Whoa. <laughs>